What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and I am back. Sort of. But before we get into that, I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support that I have received over the last two months whilst I have been gone. It has been mind-blowing. Now, I left you all in a very bad place mentally. I had started professional wrestling training. Uh, I couldn't see a direction where... I was going, if that makes sense, uh, with the training. I was sort of just training. Uh, I couldn't see a destination. Um, and because I had then became part of the professional wrestling industry, as I am now, I lost sort of my love for watching professional wrestling. You know, I, I wouldn't mark out anymore. I wouldn't be excited for anything. And, uh, you know, that affected me big time after WrestleMania. I didn't care about WrestleMania. Since then, I haven't watched really any WWE or AEW. I've tuned in here and there for little bits. And uh, there is actually only two wrestling matches I have watched in full, uh, other than shows that I've been helping out at with my, uh, my training place. Two matches in big promotions that I have watched in full since I last saw you guys. And that was Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania Backlash and Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell 2022. They are the only matches I have watched. I watched the highlights for Hangman and Punk and, you know, stuff like that. I've sort of recently been dipping my toes back in the water with professional wrestling a little bit, but still, I'm not really interested in the product. So this is where we are at right now. I am back, but sort of. What does that mean, Joe, you ask? Because I am still not fully invested in the wrestling product and because I am not who I was this time six months ago, uh... I don't mark out for reactions. I'm not interested really in replica belts and stuff now. Uh, I'm sure all of this is things that will come back with time. But I don't want to give you fake reactions. I've never done that. If you know, if I go crazy like Edge's return or something like that, that's me as the hardcore professional wrestling fan that I am going crazy because I love professional wrestling and I love what I've just seen. Right now, uh, I've been so desensitized to stuff that I just sort of watch it and go, huh, that was cool. And no one wants to watch that in a video. Um, also, me not being invested in the product, I'm not going to be wanting to watch every pay-per-view or make predictions and reactions videos to every show. So I say I am back. What that means is I am back to when I feel I'm invested and I want to make a video. My goal was to be back by Money in the Bank. I never said that to anyone and you know, Money in the Bank is coming up, but if the card isn't interesting, then I might not make a predictions video or I won't react to anything on the show other than the Money in the Bank ladder matches. Do you know, do you, do you know what I mean with this? Like, it's just gonna be stuff that I'm interested in because I'm not gonna force myself to make a video about something I don't want to watch. That's not what I'm going to do. Also, I want this channel to be a platform of my professional wrestling journey now that it has begun. Not that behind the scenes, you know, I still believe in protecting the industry. And uh, there's things that I think you guys shouldn't see. But with JTW Backyard Wrestling being over and with that being my main thing, uh, I want to continue the story of my character uh, into my professional journey. And we will be doing that soon with a quick teaser. I'm hoping I will get a video out uh, soon after this one of uh, the next step for me in professional wrestling, uh, where that's going to begin. So once or if and when I am booked on shows or I, I do something related to my promotion that I train under, which is the Square One Academy of Ultimate British Wrestling, UBW, um, You'll see that here too. I mean, go subscribe to the UBW YouTube channel anyway. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. Go check out the matches. Some great talent over there. The likes of Harrison Leon, Charles Crowley, the champion Truman Roswell. Check it out. Fantastic promotion. And I am truly blessed to be uh, working with them, I guess you can say. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. This channel is now going to be for me when I want to make videos. If there's a news story that I don't think is interesting then i won't make a video about it whereas before i would just make a video because it's professional wrestling news uh if there's a debut or a return that i'm not interested in i might not make a video 
it's simply going to be that. So stick around. I will be here, hopefully, uh, a couple videos a month. Or, you know, hopefully more than that. We'll see. Uh, but realistically, I'm just at a point where I need to get back into making videos to want to do this again. You know, I, I looked at this wall over these last few months and it has been my worst enemy because I'm looking at it and I'm in a bad place mentally and I'm like, you know what? This is what you have. This is what you've done. And right now you want nothing to do with it. What is wrong with you? And I can finally sit down and look at it and go, okay, this is what we've done. But in order for me to move forward, the only way is to get back on the wagon. So although right now, part of me still says, no, don't go back yet. Don't go back, you know, take some more time. I'm going to jump back on YouTube. I'm going to make videos about things I want to start with. And then hopefully, I say hopefully, because it might not, but it might take some time. We don't know, but fingers crossed. Once I'm back into the swing of making and editing videos again, uh, you know, every now and then, I can start to get back into it properly and do a few more videos and watch things that I'm into a bit more and we can get going like we were before. But there you go, guys. Once again, I want to thank you all for your support. Don't know when the next video will be. Uh, hopefully it's something related to my professional wrestling journey. And uh, yeah, I will see you then. But once again, I have been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. It feels weird to say that. It has been a while and uh, you guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.